So here's the news. And maybe you've heard it already. Miley Cyrus of Hannah Montana fame. If you don't know who Miley Cyrus is, get out. Come on. Okay. Miley Cyrus smoked and probably has since been smoking salvia. Salvia divinorum. Diviner's sage. Um, if you know me personally, there's no way that you haven't heard at least one story of my experience using salvia. If you've talked to me on a forum, it's, it's possible that because of my health it hasn't come up, but, <clears throat> um, <laughs> Salvia is not marijuana. Salvia is like. Salvia is like reaching in to heaven. And all the other gods there look around and they're like, what the hell are you doing here? And let me tell you, what Miley did, that's not even like how you properly use Salvia Divinorum to have a spiritual. spiritual or, um truly intense consciousness expan expansion experience, like, at all. There's a very specific way that you do it, but the way that she did it was perfect. Was perfect. Her first time smoking salvia was perfect. Now, if you're a kid out there and you're thinking about smoking salvia, the same rules for LSD apply to salvia. Be with friends, be safe, be comfortable. Um, dude, she is loud and giggly and annoying, and if you've ever smoked salvia, believe me, you were loud and annoying and you sounded crazy. And I don't know what she's talking about, Anna Nicole Smith, and I freaking love that I slept for three hours and woke up to the news that Miley Cyrus smoked salvia. Yeah, so, um, it's not an illegal drug in a lot of states. The only reason they're trying to make it illegal is because they're trying everything to keep you from remembering how awesome you are and how beautiful life is. Uh, there's absolutely no side effect, no hangover, no, there's, there's no reason not to try it. The only reason that you should ever turn it down if it's offered to you is if you don't trust the people you're with. Because you do get paranoid. She fucking, she fucking immediately, she immediately was like, is that my boyfriend? Is that my boyfriend? That's, that's beautiful. That's awesome. I'm I'm on cloud nine. It's three flint action mirror of reality, Mayan calendar. Um, I haven't looked up what it was on Miley's birthday when she smoked salvia. That's pretty crazy that I don't even know what the Mayan date on Miley. Cyrus's birthday uh, was this year, but I've been a little busy being miserable. Um, but yeah, uh, this is this is this is what I woke up to today. So I got no sleep for 24 hours, and while I'm not participating, or while I'm fully participating in some other mental capacity. It. I, I don't know. I don't know. But this shit happens. This shit happens. Mindy has insomnia. Mindy gets like an ounce of sleep. And she wakes up to something that reaffirms everything she believes in. And let me tell you, I dream about Miley Cyrus a lot. And I don't think I'm, like, an obsessed fan. In fact, I haven't even been listening to her new album. Um, 
I bought it. I absolutely support her financially and and in every way that you possibly can. So I buy Miley Cyrus's albums. Um but I download them for free too. Um Yeah, I uh I routinely hang out with Miley Cyrus in my dreams and my dreams are not just dreams. I'm just going to parallel dimensions and spending time places that aren't here. And most of the time they're better places. And if me and Miley are in the same room hanging out, taking pictures of each other, uh staying in an enormous, elaborate hotel and smoking pot for the first time and making cupcakes, like, this is, um, <laughs> this is what I dream about. This is, this is what I dream about. And the inspiration, the motivation to be an even more active participant in creating a better reality for all of us has it just been, like, boosted? It's been boosted in me. I'm sure it's been boosted in Miley. I think it's up there in Miley. You know? Her bad trip, I think, I think I'm think i having a bit of a bad trip. Having a bit of a bad trip. You can have a very bad trip on Salvia. I've seen people's faces melt off. I've seen people rip their clothes off because they're, they're thinking that their clothes are inverting in spikes, and they need to remove the danger. I have looked to the left and seen evil circuses, and uh, I have experienced. I have experienced the absolute time stop, and know for a fact. That this experience, that this life, it's the end all be all. If you're here being a part of it, you best start contributing something positive. Because that's all I'm trying to do. And certainly it was not always the case. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I don't know who watches me. Whatever draconian or whatever evil influences are out there or anyone that is still uh, getting their information through a very thick veil or looking through a negative looking glass. Um, been there, done that. And we're so done with this. We're so done with this. This is so good. And this is really good. This is really good for me. Because I'm like dying. <laughs> Neuropathic pain? <laughs> Shit. Marijuana better get legalized in Kansas really soon. Because I can't smoke it. And I need to. Uh, I probably got salvia in my closet. But. I've got too much wisdom already, man. I'm ancient. I'm eternal. I'll never lie to you. I am. I have always been. I will always be. And you will always be me. Woo! Collective consciousness! Dreaming a better dream! Lucid dreaming. Do it here. Do it now. This is why I believe in miracles. I've witnessed them. The things I've experienced cannot be denied. This is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing. Spread this news like wildfire. Trend this shit on Twitter. Tell everyone and their mother that Miley smokes salvia. I love you all. It was good to get three hours of sleep and wake up in a better dimension than the one I went to sleep in. Always good to 
blast through time and space and pop into a bubble where uh, there's a little thing for me to numb on and be like, hey, you know, even though it feels like you are just like kind of crazy when you're thinking that uh, the world revolves around you, that's okay. Because it revolves around all of you too. And... I love you. I saw my pain doctor. I was so nauseous I could hardly even speak to him. My hand was over my mouth like the whole time this morning. It was an early appointment. He completely forgot about me being there for a while. Which was really funny. But, um... I showed him like 30 seconds of the footage of me being in pain, and not even utmost pain, of relatively mild pain for me, and he prescribed morphine, so fingers are crossed. When you know you're creating your reality, you can make it better. You can make mine better just by loving me, loving with me, because you are me. We're all just looking into mirrors. Bye.